everyone, good morning. Jan she here. I'm gonna start playing the first raid for today. And I'm just gonna show you real quick how to defeat Jack with as little harm done to you as possible. Jack of the Lantern is part of the Halloween special in the Secret World. He is, well, he's a huge pumpkin thing. I think it's called the Ghost of Jack. Uh, you meet Jack when you start playing the game and you're in Kingsmouth because Jack is a serial killer that killed girls. Uh, and uh, you meet your first Jack of the Lantern in Kingsmouth in the Pumpkin Patch. And we're gonna go down to the Pumpkin Patch here. It's on the main platform in Agartha. And, well, you can't miss it because, well, you see, it's decorated and stuff. And if it's some reasonable time of day, there will always be a lot of people hanging around when it's time for the raids. Uh, right now it's 11 a.m. and as you can see there is a lot of people waiting. Uh, the raid uh, opens two minutes past the hour, every hour of the day, so you can go whichever time you want. Uh, if there are a lot of people the people will be split up between different servers. If you're if you're alone, you can always try to go in and see what's happened, uh, because there might be other players from other servers in there, and you will be transferred to them. Um, a little note, though, even if you survive, if you are few who plays and you survive. Uh, Jack will boot you out after 30 minutes. So if you can take him down in 30 minutes, you're out. Uh, Jack is a world boss and this is a 40 person raid. And it's a bit messy. It's really not much of tactic to deal with Jack, but I'll tell you what I know and um, we'll just see how it goes. And there is already a lot of people here waiting, as you can see. So, seems like we have some French people join us today. It's not that common. Not that they write in French, at least. They, people usually write in English. So, we're soon gonna see a bright light when this opens up, and then we'll just run straight into. And there we go. We're going to the Forgotten Pumpkin Patch. And I really like this arena because it's so pretty compared to what they usually do. Uh, the arena is the same, it's just one platform. You run down, jump in and fight the boss. But they have done the platform a bit different this time. And I really like it because otherwise it's just a platform, just outside in a, like yeah, it's outside in Agartha. But if you you can see here, I'm gonna stop before I jump down to him, so you can see. And by now, if you haven't been playing these raids, I would recommend you to do because every time you do, you get two bags with a lot of goodies. And here you can see there's a lot of stuff around and a giant tree in the middle and this tree is important because he does one giant AOE there and then you have to hide I'm gonna show you and now all you have to do really is to make sure you don't stand in anything I find it a bit difficult when it comes to these huge bosses because have to look slightly up to see them and then you don't really see what's happening at your feet and don't avoid his other he has one really annoying attack where he makes you laugh I can't remember what it's called last laugh I think 
and it's basically a stun, so you're just standing around laughing for way too long. Oh, hysterical here is his great AoE, and you have to ha run and hide before. That's it. If you don't, you're gonna fly all over the platform and probably die. Hear the screams. And there we go. So this is just you run behind the tree, hide and come back. Hide close to the tree trunk because if you don't he might find you anyway. And he won't move when he does this so it's totally okay just to avoid the pumpkins they hurt like hell. I have gone this raid I don't know how many times you have to do it to be able to open your pumpkins. So you have to do it at least one today. And as always when there is a lot of traffic on the servers there are lag spikes so be prepared for that. But since this is... This isn't really hard. You have so many people doing this. So it's actually a pretty good time to practice using your skills and how you want to use them because you learn how to conserve your energy and so so forth without actually being in a really life or death situation. Well, you never are in a real life or death situation, but you know what I mean. And uh, how annoying Jack is going to be depends on your the other players that join you, because if they are pulling him all over the place, annoying because you have to run and run and run and run all over. I don't like it but I know some people want to pull him all over the place. I can't really see, no, really see the reason for that. And I won't use any special abilities now. I do have a few, that's really good. I won't even use my chaos. Uh oh! Damn, I missed this, this hysterical laughter. Jeez, oh my, I'm able to run behind. No! And this is what's happened. Now, I got away easy. If you're standing in front of him, he's probably gonna take most of your life when he does that. And if you stay in too close to the, the border, you're gonna get knocked off the platform. Not that that's a big deal, you just respawn on the platform. So... But this might have the possibility to kill the entire raid if you're really unlucky. And then you have to restart. And there we go, Jack is dead. And we're gonna get our rewards. You always get uh, one item bag and one bag of tricks and treats. And you usually get uh, one clothing item or vanity item of some sort and some other stuff. Sometimes you get, um, what's it called, a destillate or something, but not all the time. So it depends. We're, I'm gonna open these and let you know what I get and uh, then I think it's enough for this time. This is just a really quick look at the raid during Halloween. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna move away because I always feel like I'm in the way even though I know I'm not. So let's stand here. And when the, the gate looks like that, it means that it's open and you can still join the raid. So if you're late, but you can see that, you see the tree and stuff, you can still move inside. If you're unlucky though, I will tell you that right away, you might run into an empty raid. So be careful. Alright, so let's see what we got. We got... Oh, more wine fruit gummies. I just ate some of these. No? No. I don't think I did. Well, well, I had. There are apparently five different kinds of gummies. And I only got one kind. Eric have gotten four. Well, this 
far as I know. And we got a weapons desolate. Oh, a thousand CC. And a pentacle earring. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can see it. Uh, I, I probably got my hair in the way. Put it on anyway. Let's see if we can see it somewhere. Uh, no, my hair is in the way. Well, I got one on at least. Alright, then I'm just gonna take care of this and um, I can show you. You just do that and then you put in whatever weapon you want to upgrade. I don't have one right now. Yeah, oh, yes, I have uh, this one. Because. A thousand. I wonder. I wonder. If we do like this. No, it's a waste. Let's do this. There we go. You need to update from green to blue to purple. And my goal is to have two level 30 purple. And then I can do an orange. Which is this is epic, uh, orange is legendary, and then you ha no red is legendary. I wonder what orange is then. I have a uh, uh, mm. superior orange is superior. I have a superior glyphs. Uh, so you want your stuff to be red, but you have to go from green all the way up to red, and it's green, blue purple, orange, red. So there are five steps and there it, every step takes two weapons. So you begin with, you have to begin with, to get one blue you have to get uh, two green. To get one purple you need two blue. To get one orange you need two purple. To get one red you need two orange. So it takes quite a while. Uh, these are the um, uh, caches. If you are a member, paying member, you get one key each day. Otherwise, it costs aurum. You got your aurum here. You buy those for marks of favor that you have here, and they are really expensive. I could check. Uh, this is for real money. I won't pay real money for that. So we're going to check at the auction house, the exchange rate today. Oh, it's it's lowered a bit. It was 260, not far, not a long time ago, but 252 is the price right now, and it's really expensive because you get just a few thousand each day if you do all the dailies. So yeah, uh, it's hard to get by those cliche keys, and I think this is one thing that. Funcom should really take a look at because that system doesn't work but whatever so uh, that's it for today I'm gonna wait for the next raid I hope you enjoyed and that I gave you some kind of, of answer to your questions you, uh, about Jack of the Lantern and I think they are gonna close the, there now you see the portal is closed all right that's it for this time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.